Ode a Vin, Winged Snow Hunter, as I read it. What? Just by you speaking it, I've now learned the shout? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. After a good night's rest and a decent breakfast, it's time to go and see the Jarl. I really don't have any sort of relationship with this Jarl, so we'll see what happens. Oh, hello. In honor of your service in battle, I am hereby granting you permission to purchase property in Whiterun. Talk to my steward if you're interested. Good to see you. Thank you, Jarl. But I'm here for another matter. Whiterun once again belongs to its rightful heirs. It's a glorious day for Skyrim. <laughs> yes, I can see you're quite pleased. But I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace must have misheard you. <laughs> I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I said. Very well, if I must use my abilities to persuade you, you know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Of course. You already saved Whiterun from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city when we've been working so hard to keep them out? The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin? The World Eater himself? But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I am the Dragonborn. It is my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things. But... But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. It better be. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. Then Whiterun will stand with you, Dragonborn. We will take the risk and gain the glory, whether it be in victory or defeat. So what's the plan then? How do you intend to lure a dragon into the trap? I don't know yet, but I know some people who can probably help. Oh. Well, I'll leave that to you. I trust you know your business, probably for the best. It will give me time to see if that old trap still works. And break the news to the men. Are you ready to spring the trap on the dragon? We'll be ready, don't worry. You do have a plan for actually luring a dragon into this trap, don't you? So, you knew about the trap all along, and you've been stringing me along pretending to be ignorant. So you're admitting that Dragon's Reach was built to hold the dragon. According to legend, although I never thought to put the tale to the test, Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat, atop Mount Anthor, and brought it back to White Rod. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. Hmm. 
I'm curious. Will you restore the worship of Talos? Aye, with a certainty. Hmm. It was Talos that helped us win back the city. I'm as sure of that as the sun rising in the morning. Might even build a new temple and put Heimsker in charge of it. <laughs> I bet he'd like that. <laughs> and what about your rivals, the Battleborns? Aye, they're an old clan like ours. But they cast their lot with the Empire when the uprising began. Ulfred Battleborn made his money from farming and got himself some new friends among the Empire's nobles. Now he's in the Emperor's pocket like the rest of them, with no regard for honor and tradition. All right, then. Is there anything else that you need? There is room in my court for a new Thane. It's an honorary title, mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold, and who owns at least one piece of property in my city. If you help my people and purchase a house from my steward, and I'll make you my thane. I already have a home in Riften. And another home that I've built from the ground up. I'm sorry, but I refuse your offer. Fine, then. All right. Hope to see you again soon. I don't know how you talked the Jarl into this plan of yours. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. My job is to keep the Jarl safe, despite his best efforts. Who the hell? You're not as dumb as you look. Good to see you. So they got rid of that right other guy that was over here. Belongs to its rightful heirs. It's a glorious day for Skyrim. Good to see you again, friend. You... Oh, you're the new guy. You must have your hands full with the change in government. Well, it could be worse. The former steward, Proventus, kept very detailed records. Yes, Proventus. Yeah, it's been a lot of work. Vignar doesn't want the change to disrupt the lives of his people. We've got enough to deal with already. There's still the threat of a dragon attack. And we've done as much as we can to prepare for that. But remember, Whiterun is home to the Companions. Any dragon that comes here will get more than he's bargained for. I think. <laughs> it's too bad you're not more sure. Farewell, right, sir. Yes. Um, let's see. What will we do now? Learn the shout to call Oda Ving. All right, so Esbern or Parthenax may be able to help me with this. I've decided to return to Skyhaven Temple and see what Esbern has to say. I'm afraid there's a problem. A serious one. Yes. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. Okay, well, I've already met him. I'm afraid there's a problem. A serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. Yes, it turns out that he's a dragon, but he helped me. All well and good, but did you know that he was Alduin's chief lieutenant in ancient times? Responsible for terrible atrocities. It's true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards. And then the Emperor's. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. <clears throat> Seriously? I need a way to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach. And you are going to help me. Interesting problem. Hmm, yes. I've been poring over the records here in Skyhaven Temple. 
an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. And how does that help us? Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loathe to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So, what is this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, but it is written here in the scroll. Od Avin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. What? Just by you speaking it? I've now learned the shout. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but suddenly I'm able to learn all of the words of a shout. like I am ready. Thank you, Esburn. You had no choice but to help me. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. The word is given. Let's go, trap a dragon My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. Putting my city in your hands. It's pretty spry for an old man. We're ready when you are. Yes, I do. We're ready when you are. All right. Here goes. And for luring a dragon here, yeah.
the magic could only last for so long. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. In Seer Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. That's right. Where is he hiding? Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your Thuum for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. You were telling me where to find Alduin. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Binduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. The Ulost Ofan Hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? <laughs> Not until Alduin is defeated. Ah, well, hmm, Krosis, there is one detail about Skaldafin I neglected to mention. Of course you did. Now would be the time to speak up if you value your life. Only this. You have the Thuum of a Dova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafin. Hmm. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Still wondering if I can trust you. Zuni Tarodis, it was you that lured me here and took me prisoner. Vobalan Gramidon, I have done nothing to earn your distrust. Hm. You did try to trick me into letting you go. In our Orenu, and yet here I am, still your prisoner. Incredible. Uh, sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some, uh, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Farangar, very bad idea. Even for you. Surely you wouldn't miss a few scales, or a small amount of blood. To me, what are you doing back there? <laughs> Really? Alright, I think you've suffered enough humiliation. 
You have reconsidered my offer, hmm? Onikankron? You will release me, Roland, if in return I promise to take you to Skaldafen and stop helping Alduin? Yes, I'll set you free if you promise to take me to Skaldafen. Onikan Korav Gairmirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Something to tell the Grand. I can't believe that worked. Open the trap. You sure about that? Yes. You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Yes. I'm sure. Your funeral. Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. By all the gods. Was new. He need dine Rufi Astvan. to see the world as only a Dova can? I'm ready. Take me to Skaldafen. So great off. I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dove will only increase. Amativ, mu po kotin stinselok. <laughs> You're the person I ever met. You're the biggest fool. Away we go. Pass through her realm. This is as far as I can take you. Grief both Akrin. I will look for your return. Or Alduin's. Very well. I thank you. I see enemies up ahead. We'll attack them next time. Yeah.